As we celebrate Black History Month, we're honoring the leaders in Black Hollywood who've been creating seats at the table for many of your favorite artists. One of the best is the driving force behind the Princess Diaries and Cinderella with Whitney Houston. Our Deborah Roberts sat down with Deborah Martin Chase. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Lindsay. Oh, what a game changer she has been, too. You may or may not know her name, but you definitely know her work. She is a woman who has become a regular hit maker, blazing new trails, breaking barriers in the entertainment world, and now she's opened Opening doors for the next generation of women of color. And give you a princess. If you recall being charmed by that teenage newcomer who discovered her royal roots, a princess? Shut up! I beg your pardon? Shut up. Or mesmerized by magical jeans that fit anybody. A pair of pants could fit me. And me. And me. And me. <laughs> and dazzled by a new Cinderella starring Whitney Houston. I'm your fairy godmother, honey. You? You got a problem with that? It's time you met the woman behind all those hits and so many more, Deborah Martin Chase. Do you get a gut feeling that something is going to work? Yes. When we were making Princess Diaries, I had the feeling we were doing something special, certainly with Cinderella. <laughs> The ballroom scenes and the dancing and the dresses. It was one of the hardest things I've ever produced. But yeah, we kind of knew. At the Harlem School of the Arts, Marvis Chase sharing the ups and downs of her career, which didn't begin on a tinsel town soundstage. So after practicing law for a few years and realizing, even though I was a really good lawyer, I wasn't happy. I was like, I gotta go for the dream. That dream taking her to Hollywood. She became the first black woman ever to earn a production deal with a major studio. I had a vision. I had something to say. I knew I wanted to break down stereotypes and I was just in a position to get it done. And to find a knack for spotting new talent like Anne Hathaway, Blake Lively, and Olivia Rodrigo, who became stars while Chase was building a resume of bona fide hits from the big screen. I'm gonna be free or die. With the Oscar nominated Harriet to the Broadway stage. And the Tony goes to a strange loop. Part of the producing team behind a two time Tony winning play. Behind the scenes, Deborah Martin Chase's power and influence don't go unnoticed. Just ask Queen Latifah, star of the hit The Equalizer, a Chase production. Now it's my world. Coming into certain places and seeing a black woman producer is immediately something that tells me you can do it too. And the level at which she's done it has been something to aspire to. Writer, producer Lena Waithe sharing this about Chase. She blesses someone. People believe her. That's what she did for me. Very early in my career, she read my work and she recommended me to other people. And you can always guarantee that if her name was in the credits, it's something the whole, whole family, family can watch. It's something that's going to last a lifetime. Lena that's Waithe so says that about you. I mean, it's lovely to hear. And uh, I hope to continue to bring people along with me. What do you say to little girls, particularly little black and brown girls who are still thinking and dreaming? You have to bet on yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to train yourself. But you can do whatever you want to do. Is there anything you're not doing? You know, <laughs> it's an exciting time right now, and I'm thrilled that I'm able to do it all. And boy, is she doing it all. Deborah just finished a Netflix biopic, uh, a biopic uh, in Australia on a groundbreaking female sailor, a teenager who has uh, sailed around the world. She's also working on a new project about Mary Tyler Moore with Lena Waithe, among other things. And she's involved in cultural institutions, too, along the way. She sits on the board of the New York City Ballet, where I sit alongside her. As I said, Lindsay, when does she sleep? Two trailblazers sitting shoulder to shoulder. Oh, you're, you're, so cultured, oh, you're so you're cultured, Deb. You're so cultured. But she's great. Yes, she is. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.